Welcome back to another review. Unity Review Week is in progress. Today we're looking at Unity Test Leads, Modular and Regular. We're gonna go through a few different types, look at the good and the bad, and the oh so cool. And at the same time, we're gonna take a look at some modular setups that you can actually put on your regular Unity leads that ship with your Unity meter. So it's pretty cool. I hope you enjoy this segment and it's gonna be a fun ride. Now let's face it, when it comes to multimeters, a lot of people don't put a lot of thought into the test probes. And that's too bad because really, it's a huge part of the picture. So if your meter is acting a little weird or just not giving you the performance you think it should, chances are it's not the meter, it's your probes. Starting things off, we're gonna take a look at the UTL26 test leads. These are your standard test lead. They ship with a lot of multimeters. They're rated at 20 amps, 1000 volts, and they have a gauge of 16 AWG. If you remove that shroud, you have a really nice, long, sturdy tip and it is quite pointy. These are good for probing, good all around basic leads. Let's try out the continuity. This demonstration, we're gonna use the UT39C Plus, which is actually a really base multimeter, but it has very good continuity. Let's check out these UTL26s. So you can tell they're not the fastest in the world. Misses every other one. But that being said, hey, not bad for the money. I mean, you're looking around seven, eight dollars US to get these separate. Next up, we have the UTL 28s. These are once again 16 AWG gauge, 10 amp, 600 volt, and about 10 bucks US if you buy them separately. The shrouding once again comes off quite easily, and as you can see, it has not a bad tip, not quite as pointy as the L26s we just looked at, but definitely sufficient. A little fancier in terms of the shrouding on the receptacle side of things. Here we go. So, you know, I even have to say maybe it's slightly worse than the 26s we just looked at. Uh, slightly slower. But, um, you know, generally speaking, once again, they feel good in the hand, they have a good weight to them, and a good overall general purpose lead. Next up, we have what I like to call the Cadillac, or shall I say the Lincoln, of the Unity Test Lead realm. These are the UTL16s. These are Cat3 1000 volts, 16 amps, and they go for around 15, 16 bucks US. Once again, they're also 16 AWG. But a couple things separate these from the other guys. First of all, the ends, the receptacles, have that nice sort of banana plug style to them. And they're also silicone. Yes, nice, smooth, gorgeous, soft, supple silicone. Tips themselves, very pointy and um, really, really feel nice in the hand. Here we go. So loud, quite consistent, definitely the best so far of the other ones we've looked at. And really nice. And once again, they do feel incredibly luxurious in the hand. Overall, a really nice test lead. Now something a little bit different is modularity. And the nice thing about these are the fact that you can basically pull them apart and put them on different leads. This is the UTC09. Now these normally would be fitting onto the extenders, the UTL09. Now unfortunately, I do not have those handy today, but I do have a pair of generic type that will definitely fit these C09. So we will use these for the test. Now the nice thing about these once again is the fact that they are modular. And look at that nice, nice banana style jack. Super, super pointy and feels like a million bucks. These are really nice, really high quality test leads. Now when I say modular, basically all you're gonna do is take your end, which would normally be the UTL09, in this case it's just a generic one, and it fits on like so, just like a glove. Once again, to take it off, 
easy as pie. So we'll try a continuity test with now this setup is definitely the most expensive of the bunch we've looked at thus far. The uh, tips alone are around $15 US and for the connector you're looking at around another 15 US so around 30 32 dollars US for the complete set okay here we go continuity yeah almost perfect um, what can I say these are just super high quality feel amazing in the hand and uh, very very versatile now here's where things get interesting when this uh, UT39 C plus meter shipped, it came with your basic generic Unity style leads. Hey, there's nothing wrong with these leads. They're actually not too bad at all. Um, but the nice thing is you're not stuck with them because Unity has these other modular add-ons. For instance, the UT C01 right here. These are your neat little clip-on style leads. And what's really cool is just take your standard lead, ship with your meter, plug it in to your C01, and lo and behold, you have a completely different test probe. Hey, that's cool. That's modularity, and that I like because it gives more life to your standard test lead. Hey, you want to take things up a notch? Check this out. Yeah, just by simply adding on another modular set, to your stock lead, you've turned your basic test lead into a needle nose probe. Very, very cool. And trust me, these things work amazing. So the nice thing about modularity is the fact that you can do lots with a single set of leads. You just need interchangeable heads. And that's why I think they're so great. Ooh, I sounded a little wee bit scotch there, didn't I? I hope this little tutorial on modularity and some of the unique test leads available from Unity and Mr. Tools give you a little inkling into what you can and can't do. So basically you can do anything. Um, depends on the probe. Once again, don't let your probe get you down. You need more out of your meter? Usually it's the probe that needs to be looked at. Hey, I hope you found this one interesting. Thanks again. It is Unity Review Week and lots more coming your way. Big draw prize giveaway in about a week's time or so. It'll be a free multimeter courtesy of Mr. Tools, so stay tuned for that. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video, and most of all, keep on testing. Will you dare to swine I challenge you to a duel? A duel? It is a duel. A duel, you silly thing. Like a salt fight. A salt fight, but I'm a test probe. Probes can duel too. What are you talking about? Oh my god. I got eyes. Oh, 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 let's call it a draw. Okay.